everybody, Allison here today for another partial chair yoga class. Um, today we have lovely weather outside and it is Thursday, so we will be working on our weights. So go ahead and grab you your weights. I got my cans here. Go ahead and get your cans, settle in. We'll go ahead and have our chair, our mat, Optionally, you can also practice on the floor without a mat and your cans. So I'm gonna set my cans off to the side for right now. And we'll go ahead and come to the top of our mat and we'll get started. So on that note, feet pressing down into the ground beneath you. Allow yourself to roll the shoulders back and down just a couple of times to warm up here. Give the shoulders some nice rolls and then give them some rolls forward. Go ahead, rolling forward. And then give them another roll back and down and then let them stay nice and low from the ears. So feeling the shoulders reaching down, nice deep stretch through here, good. Sitting up, or standing up nice and tall, check in with your feet. So our shoulders are down now, we'll gently pull that belly button back to spine to protect our lower back. And then as you find that tall spine, you're standing here, nice and tall, shoulders down, check in with the feet. So maybe you readjust the feet a little bit. Maybe you notice if your feet are not maybe turning the same direction, you adjust your feet to face the same way. You feel your feet press down through the four corners of your feet. So when I say that, we mean the the big toe mound, the little toe mound, the outside back edge of the heel, and the inside back edge of the heel. So those four points on your feet feel all four pressed down equally into the mat. Good. All right, so with those four points all pressing down, we're gonna get into our toes here a little bit. So we're gonna pick up the toes and then set them down. Good, pick up the toes again, set them down. Notice when you pick up the toes, if any parts of your feet lift up off of the mat. So go ahead, pick up the toes, try and keep all four corners down, and then set them back down. Good, pick up the toes, and set them back down. Good, we're gonna go ahead, come up to the tippy toes, and lower, up to the tippy toes, and lower, up to the tippy toes, Lower, one more, up and down. Good, this time we're gonna come up to the tippy toes and we're gonna bring our arms up overhead on our inhale. Tippy toes, arms reach, and exhale, hands come down, lower the heels. We'll go ahead, leave the feet as they are. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, arms come down. Good, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale and exhale good two more inhale and exhale last one good we're going to take a few washing machines just gently let the arms float side to side recommend your knees as you flow through one side to the other good and then come back to center we'll go ahead Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Grab the left wrist, still inhaling, reach the arms up, and then tip over to the right. Be mindful of what's above you. Good, tipping to the right, nice stretch through the left side body. Belly button's pulling back. And then inhale, brings you back to center. Roll the wrists, let the arms come down. Good, exhale. Inhale, arms reach. This time, left wrist grabs right wrist. Inhale, left hand grabs right wrist. Inhale as you lengthen and exhale, tipping over to the left, pressing down through that right foot, stretching through your right side body. Find a breath. Good, inhale back to center and exhale as the hands roll on your way down. Very good. All right, take a couple extra little wrist rolls, open and close the hands if you haven't already. Good, and shake out the wrists. 
Good. At the top of our mat, we'll go ahead and inhale, raise those arms up. And exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press down through those feet, lift up, reach up, arms overhead. And exhale, palms to heart center. Good, a couple more times. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold, bending your knees as much as you need to here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, press down through the feet, roll up, stand up, reach up. And exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up, roll up, reach up. And exhale, hands come down to heart center. Good. We'll go through, or we're going to come down to the floor now. So we'll go ahead, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands come to the mat, walk back to downward facing dog, Hand, fingers spread nice and wide, bending in your knees as much as you need to, send the tailbone up high to the sky. Good, maybe pedaling through your feet, bending one knee and then the other knee, stretching through the calves here for another breath. Good. And then we'll go ahead, come down into tabletop, all fours. Coming to your tabletop, we'll go ahead and spread those fingers nice and wide, and we'll make our way into our cat and cow here. Inhale as the gaze reaches up, tailbone reaches up. And exhale as you round through the spine, press the floor away with your hands, with your knees, with the tops of your feet. Look to the belly button. Good. Find your breath here and move with your cat and cows. Inhaling and exhaling. Only taking it so far as your spine allows this morning or this afternoon whenever you're watching the video. Good, and then take some organic movement. Find some other stretches through the spine. Moving at your own pace, finding what feels best. Maybe a child's pose, maybe side to side, whatever works. Allowing yourself to move and stretch. Getting into the spine. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and come back to a neutral spine. We're going to do our spinal balance here today. So we'll go ahead and start with the right leg, reaching it back behind us, flexed toes. Belly button draws in. When you're ready, left arm reaches long out in front of you. Good. Finding your breath here. And then we're going to go ahead and do our elbow to knee underneath us. So we'll do three rounds here. Inhale and exhale. Knee to elbow. Find your balance. Take your time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale back down to the mat. Good. All right. Side to side, maybe a cat cow. Reset. And then we'll move to the other side. We'll go ahead, send left leg back behind us, flex toes. When you're ready, right arm reaches nice and long, pulling belly button to spine, finding your balance here. 
We'll go ahead, find three crunches here. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, knee to elbow. Good, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow, keeping the integrity in that left shoulder. Good, inhale to lengthen. And last one, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach long once again. And exhale, come on down to the mat. Good. Go ahead, take a cat cow. Reset. And then we'll make our way into our downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. Go ahead, send hips high. Find your breath. Pedal maybe through the feet. And then we'll walk our feet up to the top of the mat for forward fold. Taking your time here, allow yourself to rest, drop the head. Good, one more breath. And then we'll roll up, taking your time, rolling up to standing, letting shoulders roll back and down. Good. Coming to our mountain pose, shoulders rolled back and down. Good. I'm gonna take the sweatshirt off, it's too toasty in here, and it's not a good idea to turn the fan on above me because my fingers are much too close to it. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves temperature situated if you need to adjust. We'll come back to the top of our mat. Alrighty, from the top of our mat, finding our Tadasana, our mountain pose. We'll go ahead, inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Press down, raise all the way up, arms reach. And exhale. Palms to heart center. Good. We'll go ahead and we're going to step our left leg back to start. So right leg stays at the top of the mat. Left leg steps back. We're coming into our warrior one. So as we come into our warrior one, we're bending into right knee. Hips to the top of the mat. Adjust that back foot to allow the hips to turn. Belly button draws in. Arms reach up. Good. Shoulders pull down away from the ears. Good. All right. From here, we're gonna go ahead, inhale, lengthen up through those arms, and exhale, pull down into our goalpost hip arms. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale, pull. Good, one more. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, pull. Keeping our arms at goalposts, we're gonna inhale here. Exhale, bring the forearms and palms to touch in front of you. Good, inhale, lengthen, open up. Exhale to touch. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, arms together. Good. Inhale, lengthen and then exhale, send those arms back up for warrior one arms. Good. We'll open up into our warrior two, finding the hips, turning to the long edge of the mat, shoulders to the long edge of the mat, still bending into that front knee and keeping front knee over ankle. Arms reach nice and long. Good. We're going to flip both palms up towards the ceiling. And um, as we do so, we're going to let our shoulders roll back and down. Good. So you get a nice deep stretch here, even keeping the palms up. You can leave the fingers nice and spread. You can bring the fingers together. What you want to do is engage through both arms. Engage through those arms like you're holding two platters. And feel the stretch through the length of the arm as the arms are as the palms are turned and the arms are rotating. Good. Find your breath here. And then we're going to inhale. We're going to reach both arms up overhead, like we're high-fiving ourselves overhead, and we're going to straighten through that right leg. Good. And as we exhale, we're going to come back down into palms up, warrior two, bending into the front knee. Good. Inhale. High five. And exhale, warrior two, palms facing up. Good. Inhale and exhale. We have two more. Inhale, exhale, last one. You can do it. Inhale, and 
exhale. Go ahead, keep the shoulders rolled back and down, but flip the palms back. Good, we're gonna just come into our side angle, flipping just your right palm. Inhale, reverse, or reverse, trying. Reverse warrior two. Good, and then back to warrior two. Now we'll come into side angle, right elbow to right knee, left arm reaching up or reaching out towards the front of your mat. Whatever arm variation works best. Good, pull yourself back up to warrior two. We're gonna step back foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms reach up, bring that toe up to a 90, and exhale, set it back down. Good, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold, nice and easy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, all the way up. Arms reaching up. And exhale, palms come to heart center. Good. We'll go ahead and come to the other side. Left foot plants, right foot steps back to warrior one. And as you settle in, take all those little, take the moments, take the time, find all your little cues, setting up, hips facing the top of the mat, bending into front knee, arms reach up. Good. Find your breath here. We'll inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale, pull down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, pull. Good, one more. Inhale. And exhale, pull down to goal post. Keep your arms at goal post here. Take a breath. Good, inhale here. And exhale, arms come together. Inhale. And exhale, together. Good, inhale, open. And exhale together. Good. Inhale to open. And send those arms up overhead. Exhale. And inhale, open right up into your warrior two. Adjusting your feet. Getting yourself situated in your warrior two. Taking your hips. Turning them to the long edge of the mat. And as you do so, check in, check in on that front knee. Make sure it's over your ankle. Arms reach nice and long. Good. Finding your warrior two here, set up nice and easy. We're gonna take our arms and rotate them up, rolling those shoulders back and down. And we're gonna find our breath here, engaging through the hand. Hands, both hands are nice and engaged. So you feel that nice deep stretch here through your arms. Breathing here, pulling shoulders down away from ears. Good, you've got it. Just a couple more breaths. One more. We'll go ahead, inhale, bring the hands up overhead, straighten through the left leg, high five up overhead. Exhale, back into warrior two. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two. Good, two more. Inhale, straighten, reach up, and exhale, bend back into that left knee. Last one. Inhale, and exhale. Go ahead, flip the palms back, keeping shoulders rolled back and down. We'll flip just left palm. Inhale as we reverse our warrior. Good. Come back to warrior two. And now we'll take side angle, left elbow to left knee, right arm either reaching up towards the ceiling or out at an angle towards the top of the mat, whichever feels more comfortable. Find another breath. And then draw yourself back up to warrior two. All right, we'll step to the top of the mat. Take your time, arms reach up overhead. Draw right knee up to 90 and exhale, set it down. Very good. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up, root to rise, arms reach up, and exhale, palms to heart center. Very good, all right. We're gonna come into our balances now. Our balances, we are going to be doing warrior three with our chair. So we haven't done warrior three in quite some time. Um, we're going to take our chair 
You can take it to the top of the mat. I'm going to stay sideways so that you have, um, you're able to see. So I'm going to keep my chair right here. We're going to turn to face our chair. If it's at the top of the mat, then you're good. We're going to start with our right leg being the one we raise up. So we're going to have left leg, strong leg. We're going to plant our feet behind the chair. We're going to be using the seat of the chair as opposed to the chair back today. Um, if you have, if you have a chair with a really sturdy chair back, by all means, feel free to use the chair back and use your full extension on the arms. Um, if you don't have a sturdy chair back, um, that you can put way down without having to worry about that chair tipping. We're going to be using the seat of the chair and arms are going to be reaching straight down beneath us. So there's two variations. I'll try and show you both. You determine which one you're going to be doing based on the chair that you have. Okay. So first we're going to be using the wobbly chair and using the seat portion for our warrior three. So we're going to get our feet nice and lined up underneath us. We're going to hinge at the hips and come into a 90 degree hinge. Arms are going to rest on the chair and maybe you have to scoot your feet in a little bit so that you can get the nice hinge and a nice tall spine. I like to bring my hands to the edge of the chair just for comfort. And then engaging through your belly button, keeping a nice flat back, we're gonna send our right leg back behind us for a warrior three. You're going to bring it up as high as you can. You're going to notice which direction your toes are pointing. You want your toes pointing down to the ground. And you feel what your left foot is doing. If you feel like your foot is falling in to the left on your left arch because we're lifting up through our hip, make sure you pick up your toes and press the big toe mound or the ball of your foot and the little toe mound, your pinky ball, press both of those down and lift up through the arch. Good. Lifting that leg up back behind us. And if you are using a sturdy chair and you're using the chair back, you're still holding. If you come down, you give it a break. If you're using the chair back, your feet are a little farther away. Your hands are here and you're extending through your shoulders. So your shoulders, your biceps are by your ears and you have right leg out back behind you. So whichever chair you have, you're taking your warrior three. You have one more breath here. And then lower down. Woo, stand on up. We held that for a while. Pedal through the feet. Shake out through the arms. Good. Stretch out, especially through that left foot. Give it some love. Maybe roll the ankle a little bit. Right foot. Good. All right. So we'll go ahead switch and we'll get going on the other side so I'm going to start with the chair the sturdy chair back first and then we'll transition to the seat but if you know what you're doing go for it right away all right so again if you're doing chair back you're a little bit farther away because when you hinge and fold your arms are going to be up by your ears whoops and you're going to hinge and fold letting the hands come to the chair so as you hinge and fold, your hands are on the chair back. You're having a nice strong back here, pressing down through right foot, left foot, raises back behind you. Notice how your hands shift when you're putting weight into them on the chair back. Flexed toes are pointing down towards the ground, not out towards the side, down towards the ground, engaging here. If you are using your chair seat, your hands are on the chair seat, and you're doing the same thing. You're just holding onto the chair beneath your face. So the chair is more underneath your face, as opposed, or the, the seat of the chair is underneath your face, as opposed to the back of the chair, which would be out in front of you quite a ways. Good. One more breath here. If you haven't already, pick up your right toes, engage through the arch so that your right foot doesn't collapse down into the right. Good. You can even play around with it as you like notice which direction your ankle rolls as you're standing on it. You can see what your feet are doing in response. Good. One more breath here and come on down. Woo. Stand up. We held that for a while. Shake it out. Shake it out. Good. Good, good, good. All right. 
we are going to go ahead and come into our tree pose. Um, our chair is off to our right, or if it's at the top of your mat, go ahead and bring it beside you, or you can just arrange your body so that your chair is on the right side of you. You don't even have to move the chair around. Right foot is strong foot. Left toes come up, knee bends, left knee turns out to the side, opening through the hip, and then you find your level, and we are ready. We're in our tree, standing up nice and tall. When you are ready, maybe your hands float. Maybe they don't. Maybe you hold on to the chair. Maybe you are somewhere in between holding the chair and floating your arms. Wherever you are, you're finding your balance. Maybe you slowly work your branches up. Kind of like how sunflowers always turn to face the sunshine. Maybe you figure out which direction the sunshine is and you send your branches that way. Whatever works. You find your breath. You feel your feet planting down into the ground, your foot, or maybe foot and toes. We breathe here. We breathe here. Strong right leg. Steady breath. Really steady breath. Take a big giant breath in and exhale as palms come down to center. Release through left foot. Roll through your left ankle. Take big steps like you're marching in place. Good. Big high knees. And we'll relax. We'll switcheroo and we'll do the other side. So wherever you are, get the chair to your left side, whether that means turning around or rearranging, whatever works. Left foot, strong leg. Bring your weight into that left foot, but pick, feel, pick up the toes, feel the four corners of the foot, right? And then set the toes back down, feeling those four corners, feeling the arch lift. When you're ready, coming to the toes, turning the knee out to the side, and finding your level, whatever your level is, if you're at kickstand, ankle, calf, your hip is opening, you're finding your balance. We've begun. We're gonna try not to sneeze and knock our tree over here. Whew. And you find whatever balance works for you. So whether that is hand on and off of the chair, Maybe your branches are growing up towards the sky, maybe towards the sun. If you did that on the other side, just play around with what direction your branches are growing. And then find a nice tall spine wherever you are. Belly button gently tucks in. Feel those four points of the feet again. Feel the arch lift up, engage through the foot and ankle. Strong core, engage through the hips, big breath. In here, reach up, look up, then exhale, palms come down to heart center, release through the right foot. Good, pedal through both feet for a moment, and then take some high knees, picking up one leg and the other leg, just to get some movement, good. All right, we upgraded today. We upgraded from 65 seconds to 70 seconds. So we're at a minute and 10, which is pretty, pretty cool. Still improving even though we're at home. So go ahead and take your hands to your hips. We're just gonna take hip circles, counterclockwise, take three, good. And then clockwise, one, two, and three, good. Go ahead, grab your weights and meet me in front of your chair. All right, weights in hand, feet planted right in front of the chair. The chair's right behind you. We're going to do uh, something a little different than just our bicep curls today. So we're going to do our bicep curls, but we're going to do five rounds of squat and three curls, okay? So it's going to be Shorter total number of reps, right? We've been doing like 10. 
So we're going to cut that in half, but we're going to add some more curls as we do it. So we'll start with our weights up by your shoulders because we are standing. So weights up, standing up. And we'll go ahead, we're going to sink back into our first squat and we're going to do three curls. So remember, as you squat, hips reach back, not knees forward. So here we go. Hips reaching back. We have one, two, three, stand. Good. And down we got two, two, three, and stand. Good. And down again. We got three, two, three, and stand. Squatting down. We have four, two, three, stand. And down again. Five, two, three, stand. Oops, I said we were doing five. I forgot to go down. <laughs> Here we go. We got a bonus six. <laughs> I won't even count extra. Here we go. We got six, two, three, and sit. Go ahead, have a seat. All right, so that wasn't too bad. We'll go ahead, find our tippy tappies. Holding our weights, we are going to tippy tappy. Find your seat. Tippy tappy the toes and curl down, curl up. You're doing multitasking here, right? Toe, toe tapping and curling down, curling up. Good. All right, now here's where it gets interesting. Down and up. And as we go up, toes go out to the sides. Toes come together, lower down. Ooh, this is choreography here. Out to the sides, curl up. Toes together, curl down. Out to the sides, curl up. Last one. Together, curl down. Out to the sides, curl up. Keep the weights up by your shoulders. Tippy tappy toes to middle and relax. Ooh. All right. You're at home saying, Allison, this is getting interesting. <laughs> What? You must be bored in all this quarantine time because you're coming up with some interesting things for us to do. So on that note, we'll get into our weightlifting. Now, this will be pretty routine for you. So we're going to start with our zombie walks. I could call them something different, but we're going to just leave it at zombie walks. So we'll go ahead, sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back and down. Belly button pulls back to the spine. We're going to do eight here today. Actually, zombie walks, we're going to do 10. We're going to do 10. So we'll go ahead, bring right hand up, and we'll go ahead and one, one, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. You're almost there. Nine, nine, ten, ten, and Relax it down again. Good. Roll the shoulders. With weights in hand, let the arms swing by your side. Good. Maybe like almost washing machine. Good. All right. Bring them back to center. We'll go ahead, do our chicken wings here. So weights and hands together in front of you. Out to the sides and back down. That's one. We got two, good, for three, for four, five, six, good, keep it up, seven, and eight, good, lower down, we'll just do eight for those chicken wings. Roll the shoulders, good, all right. We've been doing a lot of bicep curls already, but we have not forgotten about our individual bicep curls. So feet come out to the sides. If you can hold both cans, hold both cans. If not, one can is just fine. We're going to go ahead, bring right elbow to right knee, keeping left shoulder rolled up and back. If you need to remind yourself of that, you can bring left hand out to that left thigh and just keep that shoulder up and back. Good. We'll go ahead, lower down and back up for one. Down, exhale up for two, inhale, exhale, three, four, good, inhale, exhale, five, and six, seven, and 
eight. Good. Come on back up. Switch to the other side. Tall spine. Left elbow to the inside of the left knee. Right shoulder rolls up and open. And here we go. We'll lower down. Inhale. And exhale up for one. Inhale. And two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Good. Inhale. Exhale, four, five, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, exhale, seven, and exhale, eight. Good. Come on up. Bring the legs back together. Very good. All right. With our weights in our hands. We are going to slightly tilt forward at the hips. Belly button pulls back to spine. Shoulders roll back and down. Arms with the weights come down beside your calves. Good. We're going to do our flyaways here. So we're going to go ahead. Inhale here. And exhale. Fly your wings out to the side. Good. Inhale. Lower down. Exhale. Fly. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Oh my gosh, I was not counting. Good. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale. Exhale, fly. Inhale, down. Last one. Exhale, fly. Good. Inhale. Come back up. I don't know how many we did. Well, moving on. <laughs> We'll go ahead, stack the cans, bring both hands to both cans. We're bringing them up overhead for our triceps here, sitting up nice and tall. We'll go ahead, inhale here, and exhale here. There we go. Inhale, lower down behind you, keeping those elbows pointing up as high as you can. And exhale, press them up. Good, for one. Inhale down. Exhale, press two. Inhale, exhale, press three. Inhale, exhale, press four. Exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, six. Inhale, exhale, seven. Inhale, exhale, eight. And lower down in front of you. Good. Roll the shoulders, switch directions, good, all right, shake out those arms. We're going to go ahead, bring our arms up to our goal post with our cans. We're going to go ahead, inhale here, and exhale, press and tap up overhead for one. Inhale, lower, exhale, press, tap, two. Three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, down, exhale, five, inhale, good, exhale, six, you're almost there, inhale, down, exhale, press seven, one more, you can do it, inhale, exhale, press seven, and low, oh wait, eight, we have to do eight, <laughs> and press for eight, oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind today, lower down. Shake out the arms. Let the cans rest heavy beside you. Maybe take a little mini washing machine. Smaller range of motion here. Good. All right. And we are going to set these to the side for right now. Whether that's underneath you, behind you on the chair, on a table nearby. Set them down for right now. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And exhale. We're twisting to the left to start today. Right hand to left knee. Left arm to the chair behind you. And a gentle twist. Breathing here. Good. Gently come back to center. Good. To the other side. Left hand to right knee. Right hand to the chair behind you. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale, gentle twist. 
Finding your breath here. Good. Gently release, back to center. All right, we're gonna do our back strengthening here. So we're gonna go ahead, grab onto the chair behind you. Allow yourself to tilt forward and then using that chair behind you, using your grips on the chair, let your shoulders get pulled back and down as you send your chest forward. Pull belly button to the spine here as you lean forward, getting a nice stretch through the back. Good. Breathing here, pulling that belly button back. Maybe you look up a little bit with the chin, maybe not. You take what feels good. Breathing here. One more big breath. And then gently allow yourself rounding before letting go. Round through the spine, keep your hands locked. Let your head drop. Keep your hands holding onto the chair as you push your, for your forehead and your torso forwards. Good, and then roll up, release the hands, come into a seat. Very good, all right. We're ready to stand up. We'll grab our cans again. We're gonna do five rounds with three curls each. So we'll start with our weights down, our seats are on, our butts are on our chairs, and we're going to go ahead and stand up for one, two, three, and sit. Good, here we go for two. Two, two, three, and sit. Up again. Three, two, three, and sit. Keeping the hips back, we got four, two, three, and sit. Good, last one. Five, two, three, and stand up, straighten up, reach the weights up overhead, Take a little gentle twist or a side stretch, side stretch, back to center, release the hands down, come back to your mat with the weights. Go ahead, gentle washing machine with the weights. Allow your spine to decompress, allow the weights to pull your shoulders down. Good. Nice and easy. We'll go ahead. Come back to center. We'll set our weights down off to the side as we do not need them anymore today. We do not need our chair anymore today. You can move that off to the side. We're gonna bring our mat up to our wall. So go ahead, scoot the mat to the wall and come to standing with your back up against the wall. Good. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale them down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Good. We're going to do our clock face here. Inhale, arms reach up. Good. And we'll go ahead, take our left hand to one o'clock. Left hand to two. To three four, five, and six. Right hand to 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Good, inhale up, once more. We're gonna start with 11, right hand to 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, left hand to one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, inhale up, exhale down. Once more, inhale up, exhale down. And we're gonna go ahead, roll the wrists a little bit, 
Give them a little bit more love. Open and close the hands. Good. And then we'll come to a seat on our mat with our legs up the wall. So whatever way works best for you, coming into all fours, heels out to the side, coming to a seat, swing the legs around, hip as close to the wall as you can get it, scooched to the top of or to the edge of the mat, and then when you're ready, roll down on the back, swing the legs up the wall. All right, and as we come to legs up the wall, first thing we're gonna do is just roll through the ankles. So we'll start with just ankle circles, rolling. We put a lot of up tension on our feet today, so we're gonna give them a lot of love here. Good, roll the opposite direction. Good, and come back to center. We're gonna go ahead and point our toes, stretch through the tops of the feet, point, 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 breathe here. And then flex through the feet, press the heels up, draw the toes down towards your face, flex, flex, flex. Good, and then take a couple back and forth, point, flex. Point, flex, point, and flex. Good. Relax through the toes, or relax through the feet. Windshield wiper the feet side to side just to kind of relax them. Good. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to bring our feet up the wall in front of us. And we're going to stretch our hamstring here. So flexing through the right foot especially. Toes drawing back down towards your face. You're gonna take your hands and bring them to either the back of the thigh or to the back of the calf as you draw that foot away from the wall. Draw your toes down towards your face and push the heel up towards the ceiling. Whatever you can reach and whatever is easiest and most comfortable to reach, go ahead and hold down there. Just try not to hold directly on the back of the knee. So maybe you're pulling on the hamstring or maybe the calf, or maybe the ankle. You can reach your big toe, you can pull on your big toe. But you just breathe here. And you try and keep that foot flexed, toes reaching down towards the face. One more big breath. And as you exhale, let the right leg rest back down onto the wall. Let it rest, shake it out, good. Flexing through our left foot this time. Left toes super flexed. Draw the foot off of the wall and either you're holding the back of the hamstring or calf or toes or ankle, whatever works. Pressing the left heel up towards the ceiling and drawing the toes down towards your face. And then you just gently pull the foot away from the wall to get a nice deep stretch to the back of the leg. Breathing there. Good. Taking another couple breaths. One more big breath here. And gently release left leg to the wall. Good. We're going to go ahead and take our right foot, bring it out to one o'clock, to two o'clock, to three o'clock. Big inhale and exhale up to 12, left to 11, 10, 9, big inhale, and exhale all the way up to 12. Good. We're going to go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together for our Supta Baddha Konasana, our cobbler's pose here, and stretch through the inner thighs. Allow the hands to come to the knees if that's comfortable. A gentle press into the knees, pressing the knees towards the wall. And breathing here. Finding nice steady breaths. And 
nice steady breaths here. Good. Gently bring your hands to the outsides of the knees. Close the knees together like a book. And then send the legs back up the wall for our final pose, our Shavasana. So allow yourself to get comfortable here. Allow your feet to find a nice resting place. Finding whatever works best. Maybe rolling those shoulders under a little bit. Letting the palms face up perhaps. And with that nice steady breath, allow your eyes to gently close and give your mind the opportunity to take a break, to rest from all of the thinking that your mind does all day, every day. This is your brain's break here. Follow the rise and fall of your breath and feel like you are no longer obligated to follow the things that pop into your mind. So you don't have to think about anything else. As it comes into your mind, you just simply let it go. You let it keep going like a cloud on the sky. You let your mind rest. You let the space between your eyebrows rest. You let your jaw rest. You let your shoulders rest. And you breathe here. giant breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Find small wiggles into your toes, into your fingers, rolling through your ankles and your wrists. Reaching the arms up overhead for a big full body stretch. 
and then rolling over onto your favorite side, whichever side you'd like to roll to today. And then press yourself up, coming into all fours, taking your time to get there. Take a cat-cow when you arrive. And then gently making your way into a downward facing dog. Walking your hands back to your feet for forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Roll up to standing. Take your time. Big breath in as those arms reach up overhead. And exhale. Palms come down to heart center. We'll go ahead and end the class as we always do. Take a moment here with your eyes closed. Find something you're grateful for. And then we'll go ahead and bring our thumbs up to our foreheads for wisdom. To our lips for truth. into our hearts for compassion. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.